Well, folks, today we got a lot of disasters to talk about. We got cancellations happening left and right. We also got a brand new gameplay reveal. We got free-to-play access happening. Andrew Tate versus Logan Paul happening. And there's just a lot to go over. So let's just get right into it. Drop a thumbs up. And for your reward, here's a device that you can give to all the twats, all the wankers, you know, in your real life. But coming in at our number 12 spot, this is some of the craziest news of all time. In fact, this is 10 times wilder than Johnny Sin's movies. And you're probably like a skizzle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me know because apparently I mean damn okay. Because Carnage Espresso came out, and Espresso is some of the most positive, completely the opposite of uh, toxic and problematic gamers and YouTubers. My guy is so positive that he never talks anything bad about Call of Duty. Admittedly, he has a Disney channel for Call of Duty, but man came out wilding by saying that I like to consider myself a glass half full guy. But dude, why are so many basic fundamental things missing or delayed in rollout? Because apparently Call of Duty came out and they say that. Although previously announced version 2.0 combat records will not be launched, even see the I reloaded Bruh. quickly after the Call of Duty fans went into coma. And I mean, damn, bro. Keep in mind, we're talking about three years, 3,000 devs, and multi billion dollar company. I mean, damn, a multi, multi billion dollar company couldn't even come out with a Warzone 2 combat records. And Warzone 2 is considered to be Bobby Kotick's uh, way of doing money glitches in real life, allegedly. And he completely went bonkers by saying that. And just because this has me astonished and salty. One more thing, we have had more new and original maps introduced for Call of Duty's take on Rocket League than we have had traditional 6v6 multiplayer maps. We've actually lost original maps. We're at a net negative since the beta on original multiplayer maps. Bro, when you got your Disney channels talking shiza like that, I mean, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. But also at our number 11 spot, the FTC didn't even give Microsoft Xbox a chance to even talk about their proposal. I mean, Damn, bro. This story is so wild that motherfuckers took the stock image of Brad Smith where he's admittedly, okay, he's looking like he got hit by a stun grenade, uh, rightfully so, uh, allegedly, okay, Bruh. like, I don't want to get sued out there, but special like button, otherwise I might start to look like that too, Kaji. I don't think you understand how wild this story actually is, right, because we're talking about FTC, we're talking about Microsoft, trillion dollar company, right, and the FTC basically buka killed the deal, not only that they cock blocked the deal, it looks like that they even cock blocked this homie from even speaking out. They told him we ain't gonna let you speak out, man. This is just biblical stuff. At this point, it really looks like that Microsoft really gotta offer FTC free butt talks therapy, bro. Like, on a daily basis. <laughs> We also ended up getting new gameplay reveal for Hogwarts Legacy and admittedly bro this is looking crazy bro you got the Nimbus 2000s you got the Nimbus 2001s out there or I mean bruh and I've read comments motherfuckers are hitting the G spot everybody's shaking and this is like really good to see but part of me is getting that PTSD okay I know some of you wanna say bruh like this game is not gonna be cyberpunk skizzle you should not be getting PTSD but ladies and gentlemen I'm a defeated gamer you gotta understand but yeah you can fly horses I know this is not a horse I, I just forgot the name. Bruh. If you're a Vib, let me know the name in the comments. They even revealed the Dark Forest gameplay, and this shit is looking lit, okay? Like, I cannot wait for this game to come out. We're gonna be streaming three days early, so definitely drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Also, in the news, I'm pretty sure this is something that you did not expect. You're probably looking at this kid's face, and you're probably like, Skizzle, I have seen this kid somewhere. Well, you have seen this kid right here at the Game Awards. No way. On your logo. No way! No, no. Ah! He was sitting behind Elden Ring, and apparently, Apparently, this kid has done a reaction video to his own speech at the Game Awards, and I made an entire reaction to that video on the channel as well, so definitely check it out. But this kid reveals the fact that what happened after the show, he reveals why he was standing behind a God of War team, because at one point, he assumed that God of War is gonna be winning Game of the Year, and then he had to fit in with the Elden Ring group when he heard that Elden Ring won Game of the Year award. And I have read your comments. Most of you haven't seen that, bro, like, uh, that kid was slushy, man. Listen, man, I'm not sure, okay? It looks like that it was not slushy, but I Again, man, I have never seen slushy in real life, so <laughs> who knows? It might actually be slushy. <gasps> Nah, man, jokes aside, it is not slushy, but check this out, okay? So we got this situation, and this situation is so wild that we have Logan Paul, who's considered to be the low G. Apparently, Logan Paul shared his thoughts on Adam Ross and Andrew Tate relationship during his podcast, and he said that, bro, like, they are actually effing around, doing the haram. And then, Andrew Tate, the top G himself, actually responded by saying that Logan calls me gay as an insult, then says that I'm homophobic. Logan, white as snow, 
calls a mixed race man racist logan is genuinely an idiot not even trying to internet beef he's clearly just low iq there's a reason everyone laughs at him steroids fried his brain i mean damn bro and this situation got so out of hands that mofo started selling popcorn for absolutely free <gasps> man saying that wrong paul lamau jake paul is the one that got exposed for using steroids and is refusing to do any fights uh, that test required testing for steroids my god the chat is not that top g right now okay but listen i would love to see logan paul versus andrew tate that would probably be some of the best fighting match ever smash the like button if you would love to see that but also ksi has been doing the try not to laugh videos for so long that now he it seems like he has stopped doing them because apparently he started doing try not to laugh with hundred dollars every time he would laugh laugh he would give away a hundred dollars and then he got up to the point where he would give away a thousand dollars and to date he has spent about 113 grand okay and i'm sitting here i'm like bro can a brother get like two pennies or something like that is is that too hard to ask but apparently we were all wrong because a, a scientist came out says i have no need to stop he's a net positive <laughs> He counted his views, did his mathematic calculations, and came to the point that he made about 327,000 pounds. Mm. But shout out to the homie Mintu for adding me in the situation because apparently we're hearing that The Last of Us 3 is in development with Neil Druckmann at the helm. I mean, damn, okay. And this story is coming from Veer Annan, who has been correct in the past for predicting and leaking stuff for the movies for the game stuff we're not 100 percent sure but looks like that uh golf clubs are gonna be in this game shut the f up he says that well i'm not watching anything so Dr dr Ackman's next game is the last of us part three which is currently in production and naughty dog let's be real right even if this leak is fake uh, as the kids would like to say cap even if this leak is cap and cap at one point we're gonna be getting last of us three because this game was so controversial this game got people so mad and also there's a massive fan base for this game that i actually love this game that love abby the brock lesnar as well we're gonna be getting part three and a uh, part of me is kind of excited for the the golf club action okay especially like button if you want to see golf clubs okay i i cannot be the only one but this following story is so wild that we have artists started protesting after art station featured ai generated images now ai has been a big topic in discussion not only in gaming but in real life as well obviously we have ai skill based matching and in call of duty that can predict if your girl is prago or not before she even finds out before you even find out you wouldn't even know that you have done easter eggs you wouldn't even know you have done easter eggs but the ai will actually know it. now the ai has gotten so out of hands that apparently dan adder who is the senior character artist for the multiverses he came out and says i seeing ai art being featured on the main page of art station saddens me i love playing with mj as much as anyone else but putting something that was generated using a prompt alongside artwork that took hundreds of hours and years of experience to make is beyond disrespectful and it looks like that this is the art he's talking about and uh, it is actually kind of wild right because we recently had this app where you can pay like seven eight dollars and within minutes within seconds it's gonna generate some of the highest quality ai art ever whereas if a human being were to design that art it would take weeks it might even take months for instance inspiration to think through and uh, to design it require a lot of thinking it requires a lot of brain cells because at the end of the day fancy the bobs and vagana and they're like bruh they got hit in the g-spot but it requires a lot of thinking a lot of brain cells i don't think y'all understand okay and for this following story you might want to sit down you might want to hide your wives for this one because apparently a lot of people got made okay because microsoft president and vice chairman brad smith said that xbox acquisition or oh, activision blizzard is fair since sony already has nearly at least five times more exclusive games and is dominating the market my god this is all happening because of activision this is all happening because of call of duty man says that microsoft is really blaming sony for producing games they wouldn't if sony wasn't trying to block their purchase we got sony ponies engaging we got the bots engaging out there and this situation got the homie reggie looking like bruh also god of our tv show was given the green light at amazon and homeboy started blasting triple h in kratos form and i agree man triple h would work absolutely fine as kratos i mean drop a thumbs up if you agree but also apparently new modern warfare 2 multiplayer free access is announced you can play the free multiplayer the skill based matchmaking starting december 15 till december 19 they should pay people to play this atrocity my god this free access is cool and all but can a brother perhaps get it for at least two years something like that what but apparently this just happened click on this video on the screen because that kid that showed up at the game awards reveals the fact what happened after he got arrested why he said bill clinton it's some of the craziest video of all time click on it and i will see you right there subscribe